Hi, I'm Yoshiki. And I'm Stephen Kaya, director of We Are X, and you are watching... Film News. Yoshiki and Stephen, it's great to see you both. How are you doing today? Very good, thank you. Okay. Good, good. Congratulations on We Are X, a very personal account, a very public phenomenon. Do you think that Stephen captured the essence of the band? Yeah, he did an amazing job. Thank you. Is it what you expected? Um, I don't know what I was expected to, you know, it's just like, I didn't, know, I didn't know what kind of result I was looking for. Only one result is I was looking for is this film is going to give people a hope or give, you know, courage to move or something like this. You know, it's not like, I didn't want this film to be a horror film or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, it certainly wasn't. I mean, Stephen, you came to this project new on uh, NX Japan. Describe your experience along the way. Well, uh, the experience, it was fascinating because, you know, from not knowing anything about the band to about a week later, watching them performing in, uh, in Japan, I went to see them play at Yokohama Arena to warm up for Madison Square Garden. I don't know why yeah. the band warms up for one gig <laughs> by playing two even bigger gigs. I mean, the audience was like, I don't know, 60,000 people each night. It was oh, no, no, no. huge. That's more like really? Oh, that's right. Maybe like 18... No, we made it everything being bigger, but it was big. It was <laughs> big, uh, but yeah, it was it was totally like I was just dropped into the middle of it, uh, like right from the start, and just you know absorbed the whole energy of the crowd, the band, um, and just tried to adapt to this world very quickly. But it also was a cool process, and that as I was going along, you were kind of researching and discovering as you were making the film, so it all informed it you know, at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, Yashika, you lay your heart on the line during filming. Was it a sort of a much more painful process than you'd sort of even imagined? It was pretty painful, yeah. But it was also therapeutic at the same time. Yeah. It was a good to, yeah, get some of those demons out from inside the mind, I guess. Exactly, yes. Yeah? And uh, I mean, you've paved the way for many other bands to come through in Japan. Is that always your ambition, to, to break down barriers? Yes, it's like uh, even in Japan, we kind of broke down the uh, uh, barriers, you know, it's like, um, yeah. first of all, rock music was not that, never popular, you know, we are, we are not the only band to make rock music popular, but we are one of them, you know, so, so we were just, every day was like kind, of, kind of like, um, we had a, almost feel like a mission to break the wall, like every day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, did you have a clear vision as well of how this sort of amazing story would unravel? How would you make it unravel on screen? No, no, no. I mean, you, you really, we built it as we went. I mean, the only vision we had was what we were presented with. You know what I mean? Like, they are, the band already created this intense visual world. Yeah. So we knew we had kind of a lot of aesthetic cues. Like, you wanted it, the only vision I would say is that we wanted it to feel and look sort of like X Japan themselves. Like, you really want that to infuse the style of the movie. It informs the editorial style, the emotional arcs are all driven by what comes out of the band. So, it's not necessarily like a sculpted, scripted thing, but there's like, it's more of an essence yeah, that you yeah, try yeah. to get and hang on to and uh, transmit to your audience. Yeah, have you both been pleased with the re reaction so far? Yeah. Oh, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. What's always difficult, especially coming from the non-fan, trying to create something for, a f you know, the non-fan base. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is to also embrace the fan base and honor them and make sure that, you know, their love and knowledge of the band is respected and celebrated. Um, and I think it's worked for both segments of that population. We've gotten great feedback so far. Yeah, I mean, Gene Simmons is obviously a fan. When did you uh, when did you first meet him? I was asked to uh, do a tribute album, a uh, tribute song for Kiss, a um, long time ago when they released a Kiss tribute album called Kiss My Ass. I uh, made one of Kiss song, song called Black Diamond to a piano concerto. So then, since then, we became friends. Yeah, and obviously, did you call him up to, to appear, or did he sort of want to appear himself? Well, I gave Stephen a list of people I know, 
right today, and I think he approached him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah, he was, there, there was no twisting of the arm. He <laughs> loves Yoshiki, he loves X Japan. Uh, he's been a huge supporter, even after the fact, you know, showing up at premieres and yeah, no, introducing the film, and, and he's been great, yeah. Excellent, I mean, what were the greatest challenges for you during filming the whole, uh, the whole film? Greatest challenge, I mean, the biggest challenge was editorial, but I mean, you know, sometimes the language barrier can be tricky and in interviewing people with interpret. Thank God, you know, Yoshiki speaks great English. We had yeah. developed a really good uh, edit, uh, interview kind of rhythm, you know what I mean? We did a lot of them, uh, we dug deep. Um, sometimes I wish I could have gone there with the rest of the band and not had to have that filter because I like to conduct long and probing interviews. Um, but you take what you get and on, you know, it was great. I mean, what we did get was, was amazing. Um, so, but most of the production was a dream because of the access. We had a lot of access to the band. Yeah, no, no, it certainly looks that way, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's been a roller coaster of a ride. Knowing what you know now, would you go through the whole thing all over again? <laughs> no. I think so. You're talking about my life? Yeah. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have thrown away that first drum kit. <laughs> I still throw away the drum kit, but the death and part was like too painful. Yeah, no, I'm sure there, there are many, many... Um, yeah, painful, painful moments. I mean, your mother did buy you the first drum kit. How does she feel about your great success? Um, she, at the beginning, you know, when she was buying a drum set, well, she was very supportive because she felt somehow responsible for my father's death. I mean, she thought, you know, her husband left us. You know, she thought that was very bad for, you know, her children, which is, which is, you know, me and my brother. Yeah. So, so she was kind of like, uh, try to kind of like, uh, offset or try to compensate something like this, you know. Um, yeah, especially that's why she was very supportive. Yeah. Then once we got we were successful, you know, she was very happy. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, th there is talk of death, you know, all throughout the whole film. I mean, sometimes do you feel like you're living on, on, a, on a knife edge, as it were? Completely, yeah. It's like, um, I had, you know, I mean, I still have a little bit uh, death wish, you know. <laughs> so I don't know why we, this world was like, why do I have to live, something like this, you know. It was too painful to be here or something like this, yeah. And um, the ultimate ambition, is it still sort of world domination, as it were, to be as successful as you can across many borders? Yes, um, because the deceased member, like, uh, you know, late member, mm. uh, Hide and Taiji, you know, they passed away. Their ambition was to, you know, to become well known overseas. Then as, as, you know, as, much, as long as we are doing this, they they gonna know uh, people gonna know their legacy. They are amazing guitar player, I mean bass player. So yeah, I want people to know how, he, how great they were. And um, I mean, Extra Pan obviously had a lot of painful memories. But um, talking about all the lucky breaks, what were the lucky breaks that you remember getting along the way? Well, just every step we had amazing fans to support us. Um, I still don't think there's a no there's no short shortcut. So in order for us to get to the next level, you have to work really hard. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think we are lucky still we are here, but we worked really, really hard. Yeah, no, it yeah. definitely comes across in the film. Yeah. I mean, what is the underlying message that you want, would like somebody that sees this film to sort of take away from your perspective? Two things. <laughs> Do not take anything for granted where you have right this moment because every single moment is a kind of miracle. Um, because, you know, when we were like um, heights of our, our, our career in, in Japan, in terms of Japan, we were playing Tokyo Domes night and night. Um, we took everything, everything for granted, kind of. Um, but actually, that was a miracle to have all those amazing members. Uh, one more thing is the... Um, 
I want to say nothing is impossible. Anything can be possible. So that's yeah, uh, the message. Excellent. And are you looking forward to the Wembley Arena dates? <laughs> Completely. Yeah. Four more days. <laughs> <laughs> Next day, yeah. And uh, well, thanks a lot for your time. Stephen, what, what would you mm. say? Uh, why should people come to see We Are X? Well, they should come to see if they love the band, they're going to love them even more. I mean, it's a look inside the band that they'll never have had a chance to see. And if they don't know the band, I mean, it's almost like uh, we've said it before, you know, it's, it's too crazy to be true. The story is you couldn't have written it, you know what I mean? No. Um, I think it exists as a beautiful document of uh, an amazing artist. Uh, it's full of inspiration. Um, and hope, uh, and it rocks really fucking hard, and uh, they're not going to know what hit them. So, yeah. Fantastic. Well, thanks very much for your time. Anything else to say to music news watchers, film news watchers? Yeah, yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks. Thanks. A pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.